Hi guys, welcome to St. Petersburg Me channel. Today we're going to talk about winter holiday season in Russia. The first thing I have to mention is that Russian biggest holiday is New Year, not Christmas. So, starting from the beginning of December, Russian cities as well as cities in post-Soviet countries are being decorated with different ornaments, lights and the main character of this holiday, New Year's tree. People decorate their homes as well, but since Russians live in apartments, they decorate indoors rather than outdoors. People are also busy with buying presents and groceries for New Year's Eve dinner. On New Year's Eve, a Russians get together with family or friends to have festive dinner and to see New Year in. Five minutes before midnight, President of the Russian Federation takes a word and gives a speech on TV to greet the nation and to say Happy New Year. At midnight, the clock on the main tower of the Kremlin strikes 12, the national anthem is on, and New Year is here. People drink champagne and congratulate each other. This tradition goes on for many years in Russia and was started back in the times of the USSR. There is no ban prohibiting setting of fireworks in Russia. So after the clock hits 12, you can hear the sounds of fireworks for the next few hours. In the morning, children check their gifts under New Year's tree. They believe Father Frost and his granddaughter Snegurochka bring them. With the first day of New Year, winter holiday season that lasts for 10 days starts in Russia. But what about Christmas? First of all, Russians don't celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. Russian Christmas is on the 7th of January. This happened because the Russian Orthodox Church refused to switch to the Gregorian calendar in 1918, when Bolsheviks made a respective law for the country. The Orthodox Church sticks to the Julian calendar with a different method of time calculation, which resulted in 13 days difference. The Soviet government prohibited religion and banned religious holidays. But people in power soon understood that ordinary people needed something instead. So Bolsheviks suggested to move the celebrations from Christmas to New Year. Thus, Russia became a secular country and now only religious people celebrate Christmas according to all church rules. Bolsheviks took the majority of Christmas attributes though, decorated fir tree with a star on top, candles and bells. They only modified the star of Bethlehem into the five-pointed star. And guys, what if I tell you that Russians celebrate New Year twice? Yes, that's true. So, the normal New Year starts on the 1st of January. And the second New Year, which Russians call Old New Year, 
comes on the 14th of January. So again, this holiday occurred out of the differences between the Julian and Gregorian calendars and is celebrated since 1918 when Russia switched to the new Gregorian calendar. Initially, people continued celebrating New Year on the 14th of January because the tradition requires that Christmas precedes New Year. Now this holiday is non-official and it's a usual working day. At the same time, it's an extra reason to get together with your family or friends and have a drink or dinner. So guys, now I think you know a little more about Russian winter holidays. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye!